Robert, how did he change America? He was the original political uh, uh, exponent of supply-side economics. Now, you have to remember what the 1970s were like. Malays, long gas lines, high unemployment, high inflation, uh, and nobody knew what to do about it. Jack Kemp in, uh, didn't invent supply-side economics, but he advanced it. He got the Republican Party, that is to say, cutting marginal tax rates, individual tax rates. The tax, top tax rate was 70%. Uh, in, in, in before 1981. So he convinces the party, then he convinces Ron, Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan picks up on supply side economics, puts through the first tax cuts, 50 to 70 percent, and comparable rate reductions for other, other people. And it set off a boom that lasted 25 years. And the boom made it possible for uh, for us to have a big defense budget, which helped topple the Soviet Union. And at the end of the the, the Reagan era, uh, democratic capitalism was deemed to be the quote unquote end of history. Right? And Jack Kemp deserves a lot so of credit we, we for all that. We should say he was an NFL quarterback. He was a congressman from Buffalo, New York. Right. Eventually gets on the ticket, but how did he exercise so much influence as a congressman? Well, he uh, was self-taught in economics, uh, and it turned out he had a better formula, a better answer than all the Keynesians and all the liberal economists who back in the 70s threw up their hands, as Mort said. Uh, they didn't know what to do, uh, and he had a plan. Uh, and it was to cut the, uh, the rates, uh, uh, particularly on, on the wealthy, because they're the people that can invest. To some extent, it was trickle-down economics. But the key thing was, it worked so well. Uh, and, you know, it became uh, known as Reaganomics. But Kemp put together a movement. It was really outside of Congress. I mean, he, he, didn't, uh, he, he was more of a presidential figure, even when he was a backbench House member. I see Ted Cruz now. He's trying to be uh, a, a guy to do something in the Senate. But all he does is yell at the leadership and say they're lying and so on. Kemp never did that. He never criticized the leaders. He just went around them. When I think about Jack Kemp, I think about two, two things. They're temperamental. One is inclusive and the other is optimistic. Um, as much as the intellectual contributions, um, he was a bleeding heart conservative, so self-styled before George W. Bush, long before he was a compassionate conservative. He was the real compassionate conservative. Right. Jo George W. Bush sort of forgot about it after he was around a while. Right, so what do you think, I mean, Kem talked about uh, uh, lifting up minorities, talked about wrapping his arms around the working class of all different ethnicities. Um, what would Jack Kemp say about the Republican Party of today? Oh, he would be deeply happy with the Republican Party of today that's that I mean that that is confining itself to southern old white people basically uh, and, and he wanted he wanted the Republican Party to once again become the party of Abraham Lincoln in two senses uh, the Lincoln the emancipator by reaching out and having you know civil rights and he thought that that uh, that blacks would join the Republican Party this was fanciful if not romantic uh, would re, would re uh, would reaffiliate with the Republican Republican Party if they produced growth and gave jobs um, to, uh, to blacks and, and other minorities. Uh, so th that was half of it. But the other half of the, of the Lincoln uh, uh, playbook was that everybody should rise, that right. the, the idea of America is that everybody has an opportunity to rise regardless of who they are. And basically it was for working people. And, uh, can't believe that as well. You guys have, Fred, you guys have a historically large field in the Republican Party right now. Yeah. Um, 16 candidates. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody in that field when you look, or any buddies in that field when you look where you see a, a glimmer of Jack Kemp? Well, I think you see a, a little of it in, uh, in, in Jeb Bush. Well, actually, a lot of it in Jeb Bush, not the dynamism. I mean, Kemp was a really di a dynamic figure. And you see it in, uh, in, in the tax cuts of Jeb Bush and Donald Trump. You know, they're, they're reducing the rates uh, and, you know, reducing the rate to 25 percent in the Trump bill, uh, the rate on individual income, and 28 percent in the Bush bill. Kemp would have liked that. What he really would have hated uh, was what Republicans are saying on immigration. Right. You know, it's turned in the last few years. that they, They've become the anti-immigrant party in the last few years. That's why I agree with Mort that it's the candidates who are good of, in our terms uh, on immigration. Jeb Bush, Marco Rubio, John Kasich are the only ones who can win. Well, you need to get 40 percent of the Hispanic vote.